What's up everyone? Welcome to the last review in the non-transforming Mega SCF Armada line or Micron Legend line from Takara. Last but certainly not least, in fact my personal favorite is Optimus Prime himself. And this is a fantastic must-have figure for all Armada fans in my opinion. Assuming that you're not one of those people who just hates non-transforming Transformers, this is a fantastic piece to own. And I'll start as usual with the Minicon. We have here Sparkplug, or as he was numerously erroneously called, Leader One. And as usual, the sculpt is very impressive. The detail is very impressive. Even on his back, we have some nice sculpted detail. We have his fists sculpted in with their own color gray. And he's pretty simplistic. It's mainly just gray and yellow, but we do have the black tires on the sides and the windows appear to be almost a dark shade of purple. We get some of those purplish or dark highlights around his face as well with red eyes and the white of his headlights there on his feet. Compared to the regular transforming Minicon, his proportions are just leagues and leagues better. He feels like he jumped off the screen and as a big fan of the Yamada video game where you get to take plenty of up close looks at the Minicon, I'm super excited to have such an accurate sculpt of Sparkplug. On to Optimus himself, the first thing that stands out is the superb tune accurate colors. We have the yellow feet, the gray hands, the yellow on the armbands and headlights, the yellow eyes and a head sculpt that is very well painted, the red, the black stripes, the gray highlights on the shins. It's all very well done. And even on the back, you can see we have a nicely printed Autobot logo, the white stripes there of truck mode, the gray details on his butt that become his leader mode shoulders, and even the yellow areas that would represent where his hands would come out of for super mode. I could do a whole video on how Armada Optimus Prime's colors vary across different media, but just taking a look at toys people are usually familiar with and also giving a quick size comparison, these are the Hasbro releases of the Deluxe and the Leader Optimus Primes. You can see they have non-tune accurate gold. The Leader does not have his feet painted. You have differences in, of course, the clear smokestacks and the headlights being different colors. The head sculpts are significantly less tune accurate than this head sculpt. And of course, there are just overall general differences like the screw holes and the details on the tires and the proportions overall. This figure just really, really captures his cartoon essence in a way that these probably can't because they're engineered to transform. They've got to have screw holes and that these also just <laughs> chose not to do via their paint applications. Giving another point of reference here, we have the Takara version of the Leader Optimus, who did choose to do the Tune Accurate Yellow. I have him in super mode here, but you can see his feet here when I pop them out. Also have the Tune Accurate Yellow feet there. So if you're looking for those Tune Accurate colors, but you want it in a transforming figure, you can go with the Takara version. Although it's not completely accurate, it still has the proportions of this guy. It still has the screw holes and everything, the same head sculpt. This figure really just jumps off the screen in a way that none of the transforming figures do for me. As usual, I'm not going to pop off his gun out of fear because the weapons on these figures are very fragile, but he does have a place where he can hold the Mega SCF weapons in that hand, including the Star Saber if you had it, you could have him hold that. In terms of posability, he's got some hip action here, going pretty far up, about 90 degrees. A knee that bends almost 90 degrees just doesn't make it because of the blockiness of the back of his leg. It moves forward a bit past 90 degrees as well. No feet articulation, some hip articulation. He can go a little bit outward, but he kind of runs into his side paneling here. He does have a waist joint, which the leader figures don't have, and even the new third party naval commander does not have due to his transformation splitting the hips. He's got a little bit of shoulders within these blocky areas. They are on ball joints, but of course, since it's these large perpendicular rectangular pieces, they can't really move past that. Um, you can pop them off fairly easily, just like most of these joints, they pop off fairly easily. So if you wanted to cheat the expression a little bit for a photo or something, to do something like that, you could. Um, you could kind of maybe get them to stick a little bit more outward, but it would be a bit challenging. Otherwise, when they're attached, they do spin 360, no problem. He's got a elbow joint that goes 90 degrees, no problem. A bicep swivel. And like most of the figures, the wrist does seem to want to swivel, but it's really tight and I don't want to break it. So I'm actually going to say for this figure that I don't think the wrist is meant to swivel, uh, but it does seem to have some give. So turn it at your own risk. The head, which is probably my favorite part of the figure because it evokes the cartoon so well in my opinion, is on a ball joint and he gets a lot of posability there. At least compared to the leader mold and other Armada Optimus Primes, he can go pretty far down, pretty far up. We can get some nice head tilt, very expressive head there out of this figure and probably one of the highlights for me. 
And here he is next to the Super Mode Mega SCF figure, just in case you were curious how those two scaled with each other. By a long shot, I prefer this one. He's much more tune accurate in my opinion. As I mentioned in this guy's review, I think he's a bit clunky and awkwardly proportioned, even though he's still got his uh, merits. I definitely am more excited about the regular mode Optimus. I think it does a really great job of evoking the cartoon, and it is probably my favorite piece in the Mega SCF Armada line. I highly recommend this figure to anyone who's a fan of the Armada Optimus design, is a fan of non-transforming Transformers figures. He feels solid, he's got a beautiful paint job, he's got as much posability as you would expect from a design that is this accurate and faithful to the show. And yeah, he's my favorite of the Mega SCF line, I highly recommend him, and with that, I've now reviewed every figure in the Transformers Armada or Micron Legends non-transforming Mega SCF line. This guy's my favorite by far, but be sure to check out the other ones if you haven't already. They're on my channel. And stay tuned for more Transformers and Transformers Armada content. Thanks for watching.